So apparently in Far Cry 5, you can go fishing. I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to go and uh, pre-order the game. Oh my God. You can actually fish in Far Cry. This is actually pretty, it's actually surprisingly in depth as well. There's different ponds on the map you can go to. And this one apparently is the best pond in the preview. You can get big whoppers. Absolutely massive fish. I mean, this one's a big one. Look, look at that rod, it's literally bending. So much. And there it is. A 55 pound fish. What? Uh, also, a big thank you to Arix for sending me that, that fishing gameplay. I lost a bunch of my gameplay. My, my PC broken. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is now my gameplay. And we enter Fool's End with a population of 38 people. Can just roll into town and take the toss. They're going to be taught a hard lesson. Let's go. The Peggy's got a simple MO. Take what they need. So you can select from three different companions. I went for Grace. She's a very good sniper. She can back you up. Also, we have an American bat. You can actually throw the bat as well, which is terrifying. An American bat being thrown at your face. I mean, what is possibly worse than that? Uh, you can tag the enemy with your binoculars. I want to be. I want to try and be a little bit stealthy on this on this run. I, I've done three run throughs. I lost the third one because my PC sucks. The first one was like my sort of initial gameplay. is a bit shaky. Uh, this one is sort of like an in-between. So it's a bit of stealth, a bit of action. I um, hope you guys like it, I guess. But so far, this is definitely where I would like to see Far Cry go to. It's it's modern day. Um, I love the whole concept of us being stuck in a an American town, I guess. Uh, we're like a, a deputy sheriff. Look at that. Oh, my sniping skill is on point. So that guy's got an alarm above his head. So if he sees you, he can call for reinforcements. We don't want that. So hence he's, uh, hence he's dead. He's definitely dead. Yes, yeah, so he got two companions in this preview. You got Nick. He has a plane. He does like, um, basically do drive-bys. What do I mean? Straight and runs, that's what he does. And also a dog, a really cute dog actually, called Boomer. And he can uh, tag enemies and also kill them at your command. It's, it's pretty cool. It's probably my favourite, I think. Unfortunately, this Muppet lost that gameplay. So that, that's great. Those headshots. Uh, so this is like a very small part of the map. Obviously, this is subject to change. The game comes out in February 27th of next year. So that's quite a way off. So things might change. So just so you guys are pretty aware. It's all recorded on the PS4 Pro in 4K. Hmm. There's one mighty big scope. Music. It's weird, isn't it? I hate the whole religious cult thing. It's, it freaks me out. So the main villain in this game is called Joseph Seed. Don't know if you see him in this gameplay. It's just purely about the open world and a bit of combat. A silent micro Uzi. I mean, look at this. What have you done to this church? Look at the blood. And this guy has no idea we're here and what he's doing. Snap! That neck is gone. <laughs> Absolutely gone. So that guy is on a high alert. He's seen the dead bodies. I'm going to send Grace by pressing left on the D-pad. He should go after him. So this is set, I believe, in Montana, or a small section of Montana. And we went in with, a, with a, quite a big squad. And we had a de deputy sheriff. And I think everyone else got killed or captured. So we've got to try and take down this religious cult and take down Joseph Seed. And I must admit, I actually really prefer to this game. I'm, I really like Far Cry. Wasn't quite sure about Primal, but this is definitely um, a step in the right direction. I would like slightly better sort of clarity on the graphics, a little bit better visuals perhaps. Um, but from what I've played, I'm generally excited to play more, for sure. Excited indeed. Another American flag. I was trying to shoot that guy through the window, but it wasn't having it. Oh no, he's up the door. I hit the door quite lovely. Do they know we're here yet? I don't think so. I think we're good. Woo! I thought he might have heard that. He, he saw us briefly. We sort of smashed the door a little bit. A little bit loud. I just behind that wall. This could be a mighty fine shot. 
or a mighty bad or mighty bad shot apparently Let's take him out no that's not working it's not quite as good as I hoped okay he's now seen the bullets he's, he's seen something that's going on and he's panicking uh, I think I might screw this up I'm going to go after him where's he, doing? Where's he gonna come from what? It's, it's, yes, it's coming ahead. Unfortunately, he screamed out, and now this is not stealthy anymore. It's a typical game right fashion. I, I, I'm stealthy for a little bit, and then I get seen. This, is, this tends to be what happens. <laughs> so annoying. So that guy is actually a civilian. I fought in his back, I realised this. He's just trying to get out of here. And I just, I just mow him down. I feel a bit bad. But let's just try his car out. Proper American muscle puck. There's a fuel tanker right in front of us. I fancy some explosions. What do you guys think? Yeah. Dynamite! Or C4, or C4. Let's see if it's dynamite. Ooh. What the explosion? I'm so occupied with two people. One guy left. Done. Boom! Not quite as smooth as it could be. It went okay. I must admit, my gameplay with Boomer was a lot better. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of this gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. And I'll see you guys for some more videos very soon. God damn, that was some show you put on. You got some balls rolling into town like that. Most folk take one look at Eden's Gate and turn the other way. The ones that don't get taught a hard lesson. Fucking Peggy's are putting the screws on everyone around here. Or they even went after Nick Rye's place. You know, it might be worth your time to go talk with Nick. See how he's doing. He ain't the sharpest tool, but his heart's in the right place. Hell, maybe he'll let you fly his plane. Ryan Sun's Aviation. It's just down the road. You can't miss it.
What's that now? Where'd you learn to shoot like that? Oh, God damn, it's good to meet you. Name's Nick Rye. Yeah, the Nick Rye of Rye and Son Aviation. You probably saw the signs. Got no? To Kim and Nick. You might be able to help me out with something. Cult went psycho. I, I found out them goddamn Peggy's are storing ammonium nitrate in a few of them silos around here. You know, the good stuff. So my idea is to take my plane Drop a couple bombs on him and kaboom! Except my wife is all, you're an idiot. You're gonna get yourself killed. Your daughter's gonna grow up fatherless. Blah, 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 blah. That's where you come in. You take my plane, you drop the bombs. I don't have to sleep on the couch anymore. Everyone wins. The plane's parked down at Gunner's Landing. Careful not to scratch her up. You know, I used to be terrified of the Sunrise Farm Scarecrow. How was that? 